was always practice, strength and conditioning. You know, and then if practice went over, you know, your time as a strength coach got cut. But you always made right. sure that they got their work in, uh, whether it be the skill work, but most importantly, uh, like you would say, the strength and conditioning. So I, for me, that was really cool to see um, with my first experience working with you and then at our time at SI. Yeah, co- coaches always go over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I played for a lot of, that was, you know, one good part is that I played for a lot of coaches, right? I've, I've been in a lot of practices. So just from that experience, for me, you know, I, I want to be moving, you know, and my basketball IQ is, is pretty good, so I can pick up a concept really quick. So that's kind of how, that's kind of how I coach. I don't. I don't want to over. I don't want to over over talk. I'm gonna just say it, and then you got to pick it up. And then if you can't pick it up, then you got to ask one of your teammates. Like, man, I gotta. Man, what do I do? So now you kind of get them communicating, but at least they're moving. So that was kind of as I've been watching practices. That was something I was like, okay, when I have my own program, I want. I want it to. I want it to flow. Mm-hmm. I want it to flow and and you know teach them in practice. And then when they go to the game, they just kind of, they just go out there and they just test it out, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and either you win or you lose. You, you know, obviously you got to play hard and you're in shape and you're getting shots up and you're rested and you're you're uh, you have fuel. I mean, you don't need anything else. And you just go out there and it's just that's like for me, practice. Like I love to practice. I love to practice. Love, love, love. Because I knew when once I got to the game. It was easy. I always loved practicing and competing. So when a coach was over talking, I would it would just be killing me because I want to just get after it and and go. So that was just that was kind of part of you know as I'm building out my coaching philosophy. I don't necessarily and well, I guess that's that is my coaching philosophy is mind body skills. You know, I don't have like an X's and O philosophy. I just have like a holistic approach to you know how how we we get right. So, all right, now now we jump now ahead where we are now, Lee, because now you did, you did your stint at SI, you get the opportunity now to move on to uh, your next stop at Napa High School. Now you're now you're in charge, man. So tell us kind of what your goals are there, what your plans are, uh, with everything we've done up to this point. Yeah, I mean now it's you know it's, it's, it's my I, like they say you move over twelve inches. And, <laughs> yeah. But I you know in my mind I've already been sitting. 12 inches over, so it's not really <laughs> yeah. a, big, a big adjustment for me. But, um, you know, just really implementing the, the holistic uh, game plan, proact- what did you call it? Uh, game plan? Right. Uh, integrated uh, practice uh, plan? Integrated practice plan. Inter- yeah, integrated practice plan. You know, we I kind of designed it our last year at SI. We just weren't able to um, make it happen. <laughs> yeah, we weren't able to integrate it. Because nobody's doing it, right? You can't you can't Google that shit and go integrate a practice plan, <laughs> and then it pops up, and then you know a uh, hundred videos of integrated practice plan pop up. Like can't Google, Google it. You, you can't Google it because nobody's doing it. So yep. I think I'm I'm super excited to, and we have the space in Napa with um, you know two gyms. Um, you know, full court going this way in the main gym and another court going across. Um, the two gyms are right next to each other. There's an outdoor court. There's a swimming pool. The waiting room is nice. There's a big old field. So now we can take all levels, freshman, JV, and varsity, and now we can kind of in- intertwine all of those groups, right, and get your, your athletic performance in, get your shots up, um, do your film work. We can we can kind of integrate all of those and then practice as a as a program. That's kind of you know what I'm really excited to do. Um, to not necessarily revolutionize basketball because basketball is always being revolutionized all over the world. So that's not saying I'm revolutionizing basketball, but I'm I'm really interested to see what practice programs would look like. You know, giving freshmen days off because they're freshmen, they might just practice, you know, four days a week physically. But now kids are so used to Zoom that it's not really a big issue to have one day be a Zoom. 
yeah, where they're where they're getting some work in on their body. We're going over some film. You know, we're doing some things that aren't tearing up their body. You know, and then having you know JVs maybe practice five days a week, varsity five days a week, and kind of have all these different um, guys working together helps with your coaching staff. You know, having your coaching staff on the same page, having your your athletic performance on the same page, having the kids on the same page, and kind of just working for this this one overall goal. Um, so I think I think you know that's kind of where we are now. I'm super excited to kind of have the opportunity to have my own program and, and bring you guys in. When I, you know, when I said, when I get my first job, I was like, I'm hiring Jay, Jay Murray and his crew is my first hire. So not, not, not the, not another basketball coach. Like my first hire has to be take care of my athletic performance and the well being of the players. Not an X is an old guy, not a recruiter, but that, because that's, that's going to help win a lot of basketball games. Now,